All right, we're excited today. We've got some lumber coming. We're going to build a wall. We're gonna frame our first wall. Yeah, we're gonna take this large space that we've demoed out, finally got it completely demoed out, and we're going to build our first wall in there, put a nice header for our apothecary cabinet. Yes. Which has set the tone, is setting the, the tone. Entire space. For the entire space. Uh, frame out for our closet and then... I'm gonna stay out of the way. That's my plan for the day. So we have our carpenter, Carpenter Cooper here. So he and Kevin are gonna do the big part of the framing. Um, you know, many hands make light work, but too many hands get in the way. And so I'm gonna try to stay out of the way. But for the entire house, we have a lot of trim work to do. All of the trim in the house has a shellac finish on it. And that's gotta be completely redone on all the trim and I'm starting in the bathroom. So while they're in there, I'm gonna be out here making old the new new. <laughs> comes to your house to rough in all your plumbing and he says to you I didn't turn the water on at the street yeah you think maybe the water wouldn't be on. not on at the street yeah makes sense which to me. then means it's not on in the house right so if you need to move a plumbing stack just cut it off and, and you're some good hot and cold supply lines yeah you just zip through them <laughs> you're the reciprocating saw But then, what womp, if womp, womp. what if it's actually on? I want to know who crept over here in the middle of the night you and turned our water, turning our water on. I do. Dang. Well, remember I told you last month we got the water bill, which we had not gotten for this house, and I was like, why did we get a water bill for this house? Our water's not even on yet. We our water was on. It was on. Yeah. I knew it was connected. Well, yeah, we knew it was but connected. But I didn't think it was on. They told us it wasn't on. They didn't told they? us it was not on. Anyway, we cut through a water line and Bill got a shower. <laughs> <laughs> and we turned the water off. And <laughs> we turned the water off. So the water's now off at the house. Yes. <laughs> I am attempting to save the historic finish on the worst piece of trim in this entire house. This is the baseboard from the back bathroom, what's gonna be the main bathroom on the wall where we had massive water intrusion and a lot of insect damage. The finishes on all the wood in this house are shellac, which are fantastic because they're made of two ingredients, denatured alcohol and macerated bug bits. So to re-liquefy the finish, all I have to do is add more denatured, denatured alcohol and scrub it with super fine steel wool. And it takes that finish that has alligatored and really aged over time and allows me to rework the finish on this piece of wood. So hopefully we'll be able to go from this dirty, filthy, alligatored, aged, bug-ridden finish to a beautiful, almost original looking finish without having to strip and restain. That's the hope. If I can do it on this piece, it's gonna work beautifully on all the rest of the stain and all the rest of the trim in the house. Um, I do have some repairs I'm gonna have to make with my Abitron wood epoxy. But as you can see, that Abitron can fill any hole. So, wish me luck. When 
working with denatured alcohol, remember, it's actually labeled fuel. So if at all possible, you don't wanna use it indoors. If you do use it indoors, make sure it's in a well-ventilated area. Never saturate uh, rags with this stuff and then leave it piled up in the corner because we all know the bad things that can happen if you do that. Try to take your, try to take your trim outside. All right, guys, I want to tell you what we've accomplished so far this week. Got actually a lot of stuff done. We're very excited. Uh, so this is where our apothecary cabinet will go. So we had to put a header here. This is a low bearing wall. There's going to be a bathroom right above us. So we've got to carry a lot of weight. We've got piers here carrying that weight all the way to the ground. But we've got our studs in, got our header in. This will be door to the closet. So we've got our header in for our door. Closet actually is going to come all the way to here. So it goes behind the apothecary cabinet, which we're gonna build into this wall a little bit. So this will be closet. This side over here will be another full bath, putting a full tub shower there, sink there, toilet right there. So that'll be a good size bathroom, a good size closet, and this is gonna be a great main bathroom. We're gonna have our toilet here with the hanging tank, so it's gonna be a new old toilet, but it's gonna look really nice. We're gonna have our tub center here, and we've got two vanities hanging on the walls here with our other apothecary cabinet right in between. Got our decking down. We did make a last minute change to some plumbing. So we had to, we're actually moving that toilet from there to there. We had a drain coming down from upstairs that we are, that we had to cut off. We'll run it back here inside of this wall. And what else? We gotta still run water there and there. So, Got some plumbing still to do. Then we're gonna do our electrical for this room. And I mean, we're gonna be ready to do wall board, wall board, dirt rock, and man, we're gonna start flying on this space. I'm excited. My outside trim went swimmingly, beautifully. I was working on that trim out there. Shellac just Reamalgamated beautifully, but with shellac, you can have this little issue when you're working with denatured alcohol. This is called blushing. Once you apply your alcohol and it begins to evaporate off, you get this. It's generally a result of high humidity. We have had a lot of humidity in here today because this is where the pipe bursts. So there could just be a lot of water in the air. So as it's uh, evaporating, we're getting this blushing. There's a couple other things that could be causing the problem. My concern is I don't want to scrub too hard. I don't want to apply too much pressure and risk losing our faux bois finish that's underneath the shellac. I don't want to do any sanding. I don't want to do, apply any more pressure than I absolutely have to. So these doors may cause me some problems, but they'll be worth the effort. Yay, we did it. We did it. We built a wall. These hands, these hands are the hands of a successful trip. <laughs> That's how you know I did my job. Yes, all right, we've got one wall framed up. We did You're kind not of- bleeding anywhere. I know. He didn't do his job right. If well, he didn't bleed on it, it ain't done right. The only time I bled <laughs> was when you did your Tierra Tuesday and I was getting you out of that dress and I stabbed myself this with a safety true. pin. So there was blood I don't shed. know why they're called safety pins. They're not safe. They're dangerous and I did bleed and that was the only time I bled <laughs> well, this whole weekend, which is this, crazy. This, the blood sacrifice to the gods has been made. Should have so, been wearing my gloves, I guess. But yes, we got the wall framed up. I got the trim started. That's going to be a long process yeah but you know at least we can do it one room at a time just like the rest yep. of right 
one rib at a time won't take as nearly as long because you got several pieces done today, right? I did. I did. I got about a twelfth of the trim done today. It's all good. It's all good. I got we, plenty of time. Hey, we got a wall in there. That space is divided. We can see what it's yes, going to be. Yes, we got some flooring down. Pretty exciting. So I don't have to like teeter totter across the beams <laughs> across anymore. The yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's good. We, it's coming along. We had a good weekend. This was the actual restoring our Victorian weekend. Yes. <laughs>